Uh, so Penn State Astronomy and Astrophysics uh, is among one of the best departments to do astronomy and astrophysics because of the sheer breadth of activities uh, that are happening here. Uh, anything ranging from planetary science and exoplanet science to cutting edge instrumentation, CubeSats, advanced satellites, um, to X-ray, um, X-ray, new X-ray telescopes, uh, simulations and, and uh, data science. So we kind of have it all. Uh, it, it's almost a complete package, which is uh, very few astronomy departments have this level of breadth of activities. Uh, particularly exciting, at least for me, uh, given somebody who's interested in exoplanets, is uh, the fact that we also have the Center for Exoplanets and Habitable Worlds, and uh, the Astronomy and Astrophysics Department and the Center for Exoplanets and Habitable Worlds has about six or seven faculty members working on just this one thematic area in very different aspects of these areas, but um, it's an amazing amount of choice for students who are interested in this topic. It, it's, it's very unusual to have that many different faculty members working in this area. Um, so I study uh, exoplanets and stars, so my interests are precision measurements and precision techniques. So um, I'm what is known um, in, in astronomy circles as an instrumentalist and an observer. So I build, design and build instruments to sort of push limits. Uh, in, my, in my particular case, those limits tend to be the detection of terrestrial mass planets or low mass planets. Uh, so I've designed and built two different instruments, uh, the Habitable Zone Planet Finder to find planets around M dwarfs, and this is now taking data at the 10 meter Hobby Eberly Telescope that Penn State is a partner in. I'm also the PI of NUID, uh, which is on the Kitt Peak 3.5 meter. This is an NSF and NASA funded project that has just started taking data. It's very exciting because we commissioned it just uh, this summer. Uh, and already the first papers uh, from NUID are, are, are beginning to come out, uh, and that's a very exciting project. So this is the area I work in, understanding stars, stellar noise, the impact of stars on planets and discovering uh, planets themselves. Yeah, so uh, the best thing about being here in this department at Penn State is uh, the amount of support I feel uh, I have gotten as well as my team. Uh, in terms of resources, the college and the university have been very supportive. Uh, it takes a lot to be able to design and build a cutting edge new instrument to push beyond what anybody else can do on the planet. Uh, and Penn State has enabled that. That and, and the fact that the Center for Exoplanets exists. Uh, is also a cedar for interesting ideas and to push that science forward. I also really enjoy working with my colleagues uh, and uh, if you walk down the department, uh, at least in non-COVID times, most doors are open. Uh, people talk to each other, students are talking to faculty members, postdocs are talking to students and faculty members, faculty members are talking to each other. So I really like that aspect of this department where it is a very collegial, cordial uh, environment where people are really thinking about each other and thinking about the science that they're trying to do. It's not so much that my lab is the place to be for every grad student, but for students who are interested in pushing limits, uh, in, in discovering more than what is beyond, and in the interface of technology, astronomy, and discovery, leading to exoplanet discoveries and leading to our understanding of how stars work, precision metrology in, in some ways, uh, this would be a, a great lab because it, you know, the, the intersection of photonics and technology and astrophysics and planetary science and discovery are, are pretty unique uh, here, uh, at least at Penn State, and it would be a great lab for students who are interested in that.